All right, we've got your uh, Western Oregon Winter Steelheader Waiter Matt Stansbury's waiters here. Sims Gore-Tex waiters that he's already patched with Gore with uh, Aqua Seal. Um, because they're a Gore-Tex product, they're going to respond to a mixture of about uh, half and half of water and isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just going to take this and spray them down pretty liberally here with the alcohol. You gotta get them all wet. I mean, they're, they're really gonna. And this is really how, this is exactly how Sims does it at the factory. And I'm not seeing any major issues. What I'm looking for is for a really dark gray spot to show up in these waders. And I'm gonna know that that's a hole. And that's a response that, I, that just Gore-Tex does right there. There we go. There's a there's a bright spot. That's a that's a pinhole leak for sure. Uh, this is something that only Gore-Tex responds to. And you do this to a non-Gore-Tex breathable membrane, and it will not show the holes. But I'm shocked here. There's not more holes in here, Matt. Uh, but there's there's a leak right there. That little guy. There's a there's a pinhole. Anything that's showing up dark is a pinhole leak. And I'm just going to get them as wet as I can. Yep. Another good reason to buy Sims waders. These things are hammered and they're not that bad in terms of leaking. Okay, so I've, I've, been, I've found a few. Um, pinholes in like this dark spot right here, little things here, this is like little brambles that you've gone through and poked holes in your waders, another one good up here. So what I'm going to do is take a sharpie while this is wet, because if, if I wait for this to dry, we got issues, so I won't, I won't be able to find them. So any dark spot, I'm going to circle with the sharpie now, and then we're going to let this dry, and then I'm going to push either aqua seal or UV waiter repair into the waiter from the inside. Oh, you can see my circles here. We've got some. Yeah, you got a loop on here, so got a leader. No, I don't. Maybe put a little bit there, but it's really not bad. Once I circle those, I'm going to go from there on the on the aqua seal. Right. I've got two options to repair these waders once I've isolated the holes. We've already gone through the process of uh, spraying them down with rubbing alcohol. A dark spot indicates the leak in the Gore-Tex. Now, for in the field repair, when you've got sun out, I can do this on the outside of the waiter or the inside of the waiter. Right now, we're on the inside of the waiter, and because we turn them inside out, we know where the leak is. You, you could do a major abrasion in the outside of your waders, and, note, and to be able to see it and actually use UV waiter repair on the outside of your waiter for a quick fix. But really this stuff is just like Aqua Seal, something that you've used prior to fix neoprene um, and or, and or Gore-Tex. Well, I'm just gonna take the UV repair and just goop it on in a thin layer on the inside of this waiter, which, and the key here is that I'm exposed to the sun right now and that stuff immediately starts getting hard and curing with UV rays. Uh, and I'm gonna just fix all the holes in my waders in the morning. You know, I don't, it doesn't take very long for this stuff to cure. I mean, that's a pretty big chunk of UV waiter repair and it's gonna start getting hard right now. I mean, it's hard, it's, it's there, it's cured. And imagine that on the outside of your waders in the field uh, to fix them right away. It's awesome. I mean, I'm actually seeing a little bit of an abrasion right here on the inside that didn't show up as a leak, but I'm going to cover that up just with a thin layer. Um, see what else I've got for holes. We've got some patches on these waders already. Here we go. I'm not even going to worry about that stuff drying with Aqua Seal. I would have had to wait, you know, on that side, turn it over. I can just roll it over, and, and you can see how that UV stuff's gotten so hard on the outside that I've got to 
chip that away it's just because it's curing so fast. Goop it on another hole that I isolated. Another hole right here. One thing you don't want to do is put this stuff on your fingernail and let it dry in the, in the heat. It hurts like hell. Another little hole up here. This can work in the field. This can work, uh, this does not work inside. That's really the key with UV way to repair is you need to have sunlight or you need to have a UV light um, to cure this glue, which is available anywhere you have balloon products that sell on this, this UV repair, you're gonna have the, the UV light available too. So um, one thing about AquaSeal is once you use it, it's like you gotta throw it in the freezer and then it's always hard forever after that. This stuff is a little more expensive for a smaller tube, but it's uh, multiple uses. I can throw this in a Ziploc egg bag, throw it in the tackle bag, and it's, it's always ready. I mean, right now, these are, these are hard, these patches that I've just put on this waiter. They're done. All the new stuff that I've just done, it's dry. Waiters are patched, ready to fish, ready to tear up some more.